What's going on everybody and welcome to a very exciting announcement and that is the Neural Networks from Scratch series is finally upon us. It has been probably the most requested series since I did the Practical Machine Learning series where we did all of those uh, typical classical machine learning algorithms like k-nearest neighbors, support vector machines, clustering algorithms, and so on. What we did was we did them from scratch as well and people really wanted to have neural networks from scratch. but that's of course a huge, uh, huge series. It's way more complicated than any of the other uh, machine learning algorithms. So it's just kind of been one of these things that has been like, yeah, I really want to do that, but could, can we even get that done? And so for the last few months, Daniel and I have been working on doing just that, trying to figure out, can we even get this done? And if so, how do we do that? And by neural networks from scratch, I, I mean, if we do it, it would, it would have had to have been truly from scratch, so no third-party libraries at all. So what I'm here to tell you today is we have done it, it is possible, and now it's kind of being molded into an actual course. Now, two things there. First off, we do everything from scratch in Python, but that this gets extremely laborious in terms of like putting everything finally together. So, and it's kind of silly to ignore NumPy, like NumPy is the most important library for Python at all. So we're gonna show everything from scratch truly in Python and then we do it in NumPy just because it would be honestly a disservice to not use NumPy plus you get to learn a ton about NumPy. So again, everything is truly from scratch in Python and then we show you how to do it in NumPy and then that's it as, as far as um, how we are, how, the only library really that we're using uh, with this. So anyway, it's it's super, super interesting. There's like, there's truly no stone unturned. So if you want to learn how neural networks actually work, there's really no better way uh, than, than doing it this way. So it, what I'm talking about is truly coding every neuron. You're coding the activation functions. So we're talking like uh, sigmoid softmax, obviously rectified linear. Uh, and in just a, a linear activation. So this means we can do both classification and regression uh, and then um, coding in like calculating loss with cross entropy. And then for our uh, optimizers, we've got obviously stochastic gradient descent and also obviously Atom, uh, but as well as Atagrad and RMS prop. So coding your neurons, creating layers, activation functions, calculating loss, optimizing, doing back propagation, all of this is covered. It's a ton of material, and uh, just in notes, uh, it, it it was it is about 200 pages. So that's just in notes. As the write-up forms, that's really long. Otherwise known as a book. So <laughs> along with the free videos and sample code, as always, that's not changing. Along with that, we're going to release this in book form as well. So. The, the the topic and material honestly is something that you are highly likely to first first you, you're going to need multiple sittings uh, to digest. It's too much material. You you couldn't even physically do it in a day or a few days. Um, it's going to need multiple sittings, and then also having multiple mediums just makes sense. So some sort of text based version, something you can take away and go look at it somewhere else in a different room. Um, and then obviously in video form, there's things that we can do in video that we just can't do in text form, like showing like animations and diagrams and, and stuff like that. So, well, diagrams, obviously we could do in, in like a book, but animations wise, especially when we're doing some of the, some concepts like doing, um, dot products or, uh, transpose and that kind of stuff where it, it might be a little confusing if I just tell you in words how it's done. So having stuff like animations just makes sense. Also, what we're going to do is put like QR codes in the book. So you could just scan the QR code and see the animation. And we'll try to put as good of diagrams as possible. But like I said, for things like a transpose, it kind of is very useful to just see the animation of it happening. Anyways, so we're going to put it out also in book form. And uh, there's a few benefits to that. So what I'm going to do is the book, we're just going to crowdfund the book. Now, that's because this course is still somewhere between six and eight months out. There's so much information here. It just, it's going to take a very long time to cover everything and make sure everything connects correctly. This isn't really something that like, even in the machine, practical machine learning series, um, that kind of stuff was that basically 
I release in almost all tutorials, I release in what I would call draft form. It's one pass write up, push it. Because I can always add comments to the video, I can always edit the tutorial, it's really not that big of a deal. In the case of a book, obviously I, I can't do that, but also this topic in general is, uh, it's very complicated and I feel like if, if it's not done correctly <laughs> right out of the gate, it's gonna be very cumbersome to anyone who's trying to learn all this stuff. If later we've got to release some update to the book and be like, oh, by the way, here you got a chance. It, does, it just shouldn't work like that. So this is something that's gonna take a lot more polishing than what I typically do. So because it's gonna take that long, what we can do is I can share like the draft version basically of the book. So if you're going to, if you, if you become a backer, there's going to be a link to the Kickstarter page in the description, what we can do for you is offer a an access to the actual draft of the book. Now, what that allows us to also do is allow anyone who's reading that to like highlight and post comments. So if you're confused, you've got a question, you think something's wrong, whatever it is, you can highlight that, post a comment. There's a draft out right now as I'm recording this from creating neurons to activation functions and calculating the loss, and that's gonna be continually updated so really, it kind of lets you treat this more like a, a course or something. So you, as you go through it, you can, if you've got any sort of pain point or whatever, uh, you can post that comment and we can actually help you. And for us, as we're developing this, this, this series, uh, it, it helps us to see, okay, maybe we should change this or we should add in some more information here. And we, we can kind of see where people are having a hard time. That way, before the course goes public, before I film all these videos, before I actually publish a book, um, we can get all those things right. So that's the plan. Uh, a lot of information, but honestly, this is this is probably the coolest course, I think, by far ever to date that will come out. So I'm super excited for it. Uh, it is, it's a lot of material. I, I, my expectation is the book will be somewhere between 300 and 500 pages. It's just so much material, <laughs> um, and, and, but, it's, but it's super useful. So you know, why might you want to do a neural network from scratch? Just, just from, you know, I, I think for some people it's just obvious uh, or they're just genuinely interested. Uh, but for the rest of us, you know, like why, why this? Why would you do this? So if you're like me, the path I took to learning deep learning started with TensorFlow, which is boom, jumped into TensorFlow where the optimizer is coded for me, loss is coded for me. Like I just import things for this, the layers, I just import the layer. Um, and that's super, that's totally fine if you're trying to solve an already solved problem. And I think for many people, and when they're going through tutorials, and this was me too, it, you know, we're, I'm learning about things and I'm solving things, but it, it's like a pre-solved problem. It's a pre-solved data set. It's a pre-solved neural network that's, that is being given to me that I already know is going to work. And when I've done it, it's the same thing, right? We're, because that's kind of the job of the educator. We simplify the problem so you can learn this, 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 this pretty complex topic. But when you go out into the real world and start trying to apply neural networks to problems that have not yet been solved, it becomes very hard. Um, and doing things like even just like a custom loss function, like what is loss? How do I do that? How could I code that into my neural network? Um, which optimizer should you always use? Which activation function should you always use? Different problems need different activation functions. And then you start wondering, you know, you, you might, you can memorize in some cases like, oh, okay, I'm gonna use tan H here. I'm gonna use rectified linear for everything else. I'm going to use maybe a sigmoid here, softmax here that kind of thing, you, you can sort of memorize, like in this case, I could do this, but you're, you don't really fully understand. And when you have problems like exploding gradients or other things that maybe you can diagnose, but you have no idea how to fix. And if you understand how this stuff actually works, you can quite literally pop the hood and fix it <laughs> and figure out how can I go about doing this. Also just solving like like doing things like reinforcement learning and some of these other less, like if you're just not class, if you're classifying images, <laughs> you really probably don't need this. Uh, but if you're doing other things, like every the people wanted me to do a tutorial on the audio, right? So text to speech. Um, there's so much custom stuff going on there that without a, a solid baseline of information first, I can't even begin to have a tutorial series on that. Um, same thing with a lot of these reinforcement learning uh, topics. Without a heavy base on what we're doing, why we're doing that, um, I can't do it. 
the chatbot, for example, that's another one. People want much more in-depth series. Well, I can't really do that because we're, we're a, a custom loss function is exactly what we want to do there, right? So all of these things kind of culminate into, I, I really want this series to happen, <laughs> but it's such a huge series <laughs> that um, it, it's just going to take a lot of time. But I think this is the best way for me to do it. Like I said, everything free as as you, you know and love, uh, but we're also going to release the book form. And if you do crowdfund that book, you can get access to the drafts, make comments, kind of follow along. If, if you really want to learn this stuff, I can't, I just can't imagine a better way uh, than, than doing it this way, especially with the ability to just post comments right, you know, just highlight the spot right where you're confused. Um, that's got to be the way. So anyways, I'm super excited about this. I hope you guys are too. I think this is um, possibly a new way of doing way more in-depth stuff on my channel. I feel like I've always kind of been like one step beyond basics, but I could never get really deep into things. And I'm hoping this could be a way that I can make that happen. So anyways, you know, basically after this book, there could be, you know, the uh, doing things like chatbots, text-to-speech, that kind of like way more interesting, but much larger concepts in general. So anyways, I'm really excited to see how this pans out. Again, there's a link in the description for the uh, Kickstarter. And um, yeah, questions, comments, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Uh, otherwise, I'm really looking forward to this. See you in the next video.